in this video, we're going to talk about the test of the anterior cruciate ligament and the posterior cruciate ligament. So in order to understand where they are located, let's go over the structures of the knee. So this is the knee joint model. And then in here we have the femur. Here we have the tibia. This is the fibula. And this will be the patella. So here is a posterior view of this knee joint, we can see the condyles of the femur articulating with the condyles of the tibia. And in between the condyles, we have this meniscus. And we have, since this is the fibula and it's lateral, we have the lateral meniscus and the medial meniscus. So this will be the medial condyle of the femur and this will be the lateral condyle of the femur that at some point make this joint with, not direct because uh, this is a synovial joint, so we have this menisci in between, so, but it makes this connection or this joint with the medial and the lateral condyles of the tibia. And in order to stabilize the knee joint, we have uh, this cruci anterior cruciate ligament and posterior cruciate ligament, which are these two, that runs between the medial condyle of the femur into this posterior edge of the tibia in between the lateral and the medial condyle. And then we have this anterior cruciate ligament that runs in this intercondylar fossa from this part, which is the lateral condyle, up to this upper part next to the uh, tibial tuberosis. Now, we have uh, as well these collateral ligaments, which is the fibular collateral ligament and the lateral collateral ligament. And then here we have the ligament of the quadriceps and then the patellar ligament. So one of the functions of these anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments is to prevent the translation, excessive movement of the femur over the tibia. So uh, these ligaments, they can turn really easily because they are not very strong, they're not very thick. And in general, ligaments within the joints are made mainly by collagen fibers. So collagen fibers are strong, but uh, sometimes they give, they can stretch and they can torn apart, especially when you do uh, certain uh, movements that are unexpected and then you can torn them apart. So the way that you test this ACL and the PCL is by having the person uh, sitting with the legs hanging in a 90 degree angle, the articulation of the knee. And in order to test the ACL anterior cruciate ligament, you will grab the leg of the person like this, and then you will give a little pull anteriorly like this. If you feel translation or movement of the tibia over the femur, greater than six millimeters, uh, that will be a positive test. And then in order to test the PCL, posterior cruciate ligament, you will do the opposite. So it, uh, you will grab the distal portion of the tibia and the fibula with both of your, of your uh, hands, or you can use one hand and then with the other one, put it over the side like this, and then you will push, okay? And again, if you see translational movement of the tibia over the, the femur, and, and that's for the anterior test as well, I probably said fibula, but it's the movement of the tibia over the femur. So in the case of the PCL, the posterior cruciate ligament, if you push and then you feel translational movement of the tibia over the femur greater than six millimeters, that will be a positive test for a torn uh, posterior cruciate ligament. So this is all then for these uh, tests of the ligaments of the knee.